get to the latest numbers now on the Caldor fire. The fire has burned nearly 211,000 acres. That's about 330 square miles. It's now 27% contained. About 650 homes have been destroyed. Another 32,000 remain threatened. Cal Fire says 65% of structures have been inspected across the burn area. And Case Area 3's Mike Tissell has been covering the fire all week long for us. He's joining us now from the state line along Lake Tahoe Boulevard. And Mike, it's a lot quieter ahead of Labor Day weekend. Can you believe that we're the Friday morning before the Labor Day weekend and the only vehicles here along Lake Tahoe Boulevard are those emergency vehicles heading to or from the fire lines? I mean, just an empty spot here on state line and the impacts aren't just here around the casinos or the areas under threat or the areas under evacuation. It's outside this area. I'll explain in a second, but take a look because this video right here just continues uh, to be stunning to me. Labor Day weekend, and you can see this is Thursday afternoon. The casino area, completely empty. Every table, every slot machine, even the bar area. There's just no one around in these casinos because they're shut down right now. And they're essentially uh, housing now for fire police and other first responders, as well as a handful of journalists and media members like myself. It's not just here in South Lake, though, because that's kind of obvious. It's evacuated, so that should be empty. But take a look. Yesterday, we drove out of the smoke towards the North Shore. You know, Incline Village, Carnelian Bay, that area, Kings Beach, blue sky, 77 degrees, and yet the beaches were empty. And popular restaurants like Garwoods on the water, they had mostly empty tables, at most 10 people that we saw at dinner time on the Thursday before the Labor Day weekend. You know, you had, it's just an amazing juxtaposition. Blue sky there and back out here live. We continue to have smoke. This is a look straight up at the Heavenly Valley and the Heavenly Ski Resort area. Again, good sign here, even though it's smoky, no signs of fire anywhere near. Uh, the ski resort at this point in time. Keep in mind, Tahoe tourism officials say, you know, Labor Day weekend, it's not like a make or break uh, weekend for this economy, but it is usually supposed to be the icing of the cake to the summer tourism season, kind of the last big event. And yet here we are, South Lake Tahoe evacuated, no one here and Highway 50 likely to remain just a spot for first responders throughout this entire Labor Day weekend as the casinos again shut down and housing all those first responders. Live along Lake Tahoe Boulevard here at State Line Nevada. Mike Tissell, KCI Ray 3 News. Yeah, definitely a surreal picture out there. Mike, Bizarre thank you. Bizarre to see, Very. especially this weekend. Well, thousands of residents have been evacuated in the Caldor Fire. Now El Dorado County is extending its local assistance center to provide recovery resources for Caldor Fire survivors. And Aaron Heft is joining us in the newsroom now with how this one-stop shop is making it easier for those who really need some help. Aaron. So easy. There is now more resources for people that are in need. The thousands of people still evacuated because of the Caldor fire have what the county is calling a one stop shop. The center set up last week, which was supposed to be uh, scheduled to close, is extending its hours through tomorrow. If you evacuated and don't have your marriage or driver's license or need your tax or property assessment, they're here to help. They're located at Folsom Lake Community College in Placerville. The local agencies there to help include the record clerk, assessor, elections, planning and building, and more. The DMV, alongside the California Department of Tax and Fee, Public Health, and Housing and Community, are also there to help people begin to rebuild. Unfortunately, I mean, our community has been hit by fire, wildfire, catastrophic wildfire previously. So we kind of know what's in store. This is obviously on a level that we haven't seen before, um, but uh, we've, we were aware that this was going to be something that would be necessary. Our team's been connecting with so many people this week that won't have homes to return to. This center is here to help them. They're open today from 10 to 5 and 10 to 3 tomorrow at the El Dorado Center of Folsom Lake College. Again, this is not at the Folsom Lake College main campus, but at a campus in Placerville. Back to you.
All right, Aaron, thanks so much. Let's uh, turn it over now to meteorologist Melanie Hunter with the latest on the smoky conditions and also the windy conditions that firefighters will still have to be dealing with. Yeah, at least this morning, a light to calm wind in the Sierra. And as we continue throughout the afternoon, our wind won't increase all that much. Taking a look at the current wind speeds through South Lake Tahoe, you see that direction out of the southwest right now at five miles per hour. So we've got that light wind in place. Now we do have a downsloping wind through the foothills area still, so that's dragging some of that Caldor fire smoke into some of those lower foothill elevations. So including western El Dorado County. If you are in Cameron Park, El Dorado, you're waking up to some unhealthy air. Future cast pattern does show that as we advance into this afternoon, our wind speed doesn't go up all that much compared to what we were talking about in previous days. So we'll have that lighter southwest wind and hopefully that will help the firefighters contain more ground on the Caldor fire.